Hi, welcome back to Section 6, Lesson 5. In this lesson, let's understand more about QMS. So the first one is the role of QMS. The ClickView Management Service is the entry point for all management, both through ClickView Management Console, which is QMC, and also through the ClickView QMS API. The ClickView Management Service communicates with all of the other services to manage tasks. In fact, QMC, the ClickView Management Console, is built on QMS. And one of the important concepts you need to understand is QVPR. QVPR stands for ClickView Publisher Repository. So what happens is ClickView Management Service, which is QMC, the settings are stored as part of QVPR in XML format. Most of the times, we will be fine having these settings stored in XML format. But I would strongly suggest to back up these files regularly at least once a day. However, we can also store the settings in a SQL database. Let me show you where we can change the QVPR configuration on QMC. So let me quickly connect to the server. Okay, so we are already on QMC. So let me make sure that all the services are running okay. Yeah, I can see that here. And then let's go ahead and click on systems. And under system, we are interested in the management service. So you don't see the list here because it's right on the top. And if I click on that, then you have repository option here. And if you see here, this is where the settings related to QVPR are available. If you want, you can back up the XML files using these settings. Let me also show you where you can change the format from XML to SQL. And if I click on Microsoft SQL Server, it, it is important to note that only Microsoft SQL Server is supported. You can't really store the QVPR logs directly on Oracle or in fact MySQL, you need to store either, you need to store them in XML and then you can import them into Oracle or MySQL, or you can directly store them in SQL Server. It depends upon what database shop you're running on. So let's go ahead and go back to the presentation again. Let me minimize this. Okay, another important point about QMS in a cluster setup is you can only have a single QMS instance as active. Active passive failover should be used for redundancy. Note that no other service needs QMS to be running. This is why we can set up QMS service in delayed startup mode. So the next point is uh, QMS debugging. Thankfully, we have log files for QMS service. By default, QMS log files are stored in program data, click tech and management service. So let me show you where they are. Let me go back to the server. Click on start my computer and go in here again program data make sure that it's not hidden under program data click tech and then you should see management service here there we go and under management service so you can see all the log files here so let's go back and if you go under qvpr you can see the qvpr xml files i wouldn't recommend changing these xml files if you wanted you can go to the backups folder and you can see the backup copies. They're either saved as daily or weekly. I would strongly recommend you to backup these files on daily basis. If you don't set up too many tasks, then probably weekly should be all right. But I think it's safe to have them daily because they're always in KB, not even in MB. So let's go back to the presentation again. And note that QMC doesn't provide an option to change the default location. But like how we've changed it for the directory service connector, you can also change the default location from the QV management service .exe .config file. Let me show you just in case uh, if you miss the other video. So let me go back to the server. And then if I come here, and then let me click on computer, C, program files, Click view, management service, and you should see this exe.config file. And you can also change the logging mode. If you go onto QMC and then click on general tab, you can see the logging level. So let's go back to the presentation. Let's move on. 
So extending QMC with QMS API. In fact, click provides QMS API. In fact, click provides QMS API. So most of the management tasks can be performed via QMC, but if you wanted to perform a specific task, which is not available as QMC functionality, then you can always use QMS API. As part of ClickView Management Service API, there are loads of methods which Click exposes for developers to build specific functionality. Most likely you will be using something like C Sharp. So let me show you the documentation for QMS API. So let me go back to the server and let me click on the management services. And if you see here, you should see QMS API documentation. If you click on this, you can see the sample on how to set up and you will also see the namespaces and all the relevant methods within them. So you can see them and click on the plus sign again and click on one of them. So basically you, you have complete documentation of almost all the tasks which you performed in QMC and also other methods by which you can build custom functionality. So just to summarize about QMS, think about ClickView management service as the service which communicates with all the services, but there is no service which depends upon QMS. You can always change the startup type for QMS. So you can click on start, click on run, and then services.msc. And if I go and expand the screen, select queue, and then look for ClickView management service. If I click on this, click on property, general, so you can have automatic but delayed start. Whenever you think about QMS, think about QMC. This is more for administration purposes. And most likely as an administrator, you will always, always use QMC. I hope this helps. In the next lesson, we will look at QVWS. Thank you for watching.